Glioblastomas are often called a brain cancer with a death sentence in the medical community. Many who are diagnosed die within two years of getting it. But in the past decade, doctors at Duke have created a vaccine that could revolutionize the way we treat brain cancers. Arlene Park has the story. That's what these folks are going to do. Clara Guy is an interior designer living in Morrisville. Earlier this year, she was diagnosed with one of the deadliest brain cancers around. It's called glioblastoma. I'm scared, very scared. After her first surgery, the cancer cells returned. So the surgery was done right here. And, and she was given one to three years to live. It's that much more exciting and inspiring when you're around folks that say, here we are. Here's the plan. Here's what we've been able to do so far, and here's what we're going to learn for, from even more. Clara Guy is talking about a 10-year vaccine trial she just signed up for, something doctors at Duke have been working on. The process is called immunotherapy. It's really using the body's own defense mechanisms to attack a, a foreign invader in the body. Dr. John Sanson says they've developed a vaccine that will target and kill cancer cells, specifically the ones that cause glioblastoma. It's actually pretty extraordinary. So those cells get educated and then they go throughout the body as sentinels um, looking for the tumor cells, kind of like little mini snipers, if you will, and killing off the tumor cells no matter where they are. I was very shocked, could not believe it. Ryan DeGrand was one of the pilot patients 10 years ago. I come here uh, once every four to five weeks and I get uh, four shots. He lives in Missouri, but calls Duke his second home. I will continue to come here as, as, as long as I need him to come here. Oh, here we go. He was also diagnosed with glioblastoma, but has been cancer free ever since, thanks to the vaccine. Here, Ryan is running a 5K for Angels Among Us, an annual run that raises money for brain tumor research. Our patients who have been kind enough to allow us to try things on them when they have devastating problems that have helped us learn how to do these things and deliver this kind of survival to Ryan and the many others that are doing doing very well on the vaccine trials. It brings a whole new appreciation to days when you sleep in and you have a relaxing Saturday or days when you go on a regular vacation and you think, oh yeah, that vacation, that was great. No, it was awesome. It was stunning and you become appreciative for a whole different set of things. So far, the handful of patients involved in this immunotherapy vaccine trial are still cancer free. I see another one of my angels. Patients like Clara Guy, on the cutting edge of something that's nothing short of extraordinary in the medical community in Durham. Yeah! Eileen Park, WNCN News. The FDA will soon vet the trial. If approved, the vaccine will be available to anyone across the country.